are you this evening? Uh, I'd love to have you help with the flowers and okay. Which arrow? That arrow? Yep. Arrow? We'll scroll through the pictures. Okay. And then in order to make it stop scrolling, you need to hit escape. So it'll just keep scrolling. Okay. And if you need help, <laughs> all right. Okay. If you see a pained look on my face, you'll know. Good evening. How's everybody this evening on this beautiful Chamber of Commerce evening in marvelous Gilbert, Arizona? Thank you all for coming. On behalf of Mayor Lewis, the Gilbert Town Council, and the Town of Gilbert, I would like to welcome all of you here this evening. Thank you for coming out to honor Master Sergeant David Zabel and his family for his service and their sacrifice on behalf of our country. Would you all please stand? And at this time, I would ask the American Legion to post the colors. Oh. 
Could I have Andrea Brimhall Hale come forward, please? Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof That our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star spangled banner yet wave or the land? Now I need a, one of our scouts from Troop 689 to come forward and lead us in the pledge, please. Please join me in saying the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge Please remain standing. Councilman Jordan Ray will lead us in an invocation. Our Father in heaven, we come before thee grateful for our many blessings, grateful for the opportunity to gather together tonight as friends and family and community members uh, to celebrate the safe return of Master Sergeant David Zabel. We are grateful for his willingness uh, to risk his life in order to help each one of us enjoy the freedoms that we have. We are grateful for his family, for their support, and for their willingness to share him so that he can protect our freedoms. We are grateful for all those men and women who serve in the armed forces. Bless them to be able to return home to their families. We are grateful for the freedoms that we enjoy and we ask for thy spirit to be with us tonight, that we can leave a little more patriotic, a little more kind, um, with a desire to serve those in our community. Again, we are grateful for our many blessings. We say these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, George. Please be seated.
I hope as you were uh, waiting for the Zabel family to, to come over from uh, or be escorted here by the American or Arizona Patriot Guard Riders that you enjoyed the music by the two blues jazz combo. Uh, they are Basha High School students and this is the second time that they have graced us with their music. Please give them a round of applause. At this time, I'd also like to thank the Arizona Patriot Guard Riders for being here and for supporting our Operation Welcome Home ceremonies. They provide the motorcycle escort from Lifetime Fitness, uh, bringing in our honoree or honorees. And then you see them standing and honoring this ceremony with the American flag. So thank you very much. And I'd also like to honor our servicemen and women and our veterans in the audience. So if you can stand, please do so. If you're already standing, please raise your hand so we can acknowledge your service to our country. Thank you all. You know, the town of Gilbert over the past few years has been recognized by the Department of Defense for its support of its military employees. Operation Welcome Home represents just one part of that support. And the recognition along with establishing the traditions that we want people to associate with the town of Gilbert and its small town atmosphere, no matter how large we get. I want to thank our elected officials this evening we have State Representative Warren Peterson here. We have Vice Mayor Cooper, Council Members Jen Daniel, and of course, Jordan Ray. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you. This is our 12th Operation Welcome Home ceremony. We have honored 17 returning servicemen and one Gold Star wife. We've honored those who have come back and are just looking forward to starting their civilian careers and their families, to those who are proud to have served our country for more than 20 years. The interesting thing is that once they go through one of these ceremonies, we, we get them on our Operation Welcome Home Committee. And yes, that is a request. <laughs> All right. Or at least an invitation. At this time, I would like to have Mayor John Lewis come forward to introduce the honoree and his family. Mayor Lewis. Remember, that's yours. This is mine. <laughs> I will get formal in just a few minutes and use that title, Master Sergeant Zabel, but for a moment, David, if you could please escort your family front and center. And I might even ask you, uh, for the pleasure, could you introduce your family, please? This is my wife, Barb, Hannah, and Katie. But... <laughs> I talked earlier to Hannah and Katie, and thank you for bringing your mom and dad tonight. This is a very special occasion. And I looked around the room, and there's some very special emotions and, and the reason why I start off by saying David is yes, we thank the Patriot Guard and the Boy Scouts and the American Legion and many of the Lions Club are here tonight and business leaders and education leaders who have come and some of your friends and those who are honoring your service. We also tonight on behalf of 225,000 residents of Gilbert and many who are visiting from neighboring cities who heard about tonight and wanted to be here. This is family. And so in an informal manner, manner I say, David, welcome home. Your family appreciates your service. <laughs> and in just a moment, I am going to read a proclamation, we'll give it to you, but we did want you standing by your family as your family is here to thank you. We have flowers to give to the daughters and to wife Barbara. 
And before I have three of the family members seated, did we get all the pictures that we needed to get? All right, one more big round of applause for wife Barbara and Katie and Hannah. And you may be seated. Thank you. You may be seated. This is where, in a formal manner, I read a proclamation that will be presented in just a moment. This is from the town of Gilbert. And it's put in proclamation formal language. And so it starts off, whereas the town of Gilbert wishes to acknowledge and honor through Operation Welcome Home those Gilbert residents who have served a tour of duty overseas in the course of their military commitment to the United States of America. And whereas Master Sergeant Zabel, a resident of the town of Gilbert, having served for more than four years in the United States Air Force and 24 years in the Arizona National Guard, and whereas Master Sergeant Zabel, having completed basic training at Lackland Air Force Base, Texas, and having completed advanced training in Lowry Air Force Base, Colorado, and whereas Master Sergeant Zabel, having served his country honorably throughout his service and, de and deployment at various locations, including Camp Arf, Arf, Arf John, Kuwait, and whereas Master Sergeant Zabel, having received numerous medals and awards, including the Meritorious Service Medal, the Air Force Commendation Medal, third award, the Army Commendation Medal, the Air Force Achievement Medal, second award, and whereas in recognition of his service and the support of his family, especially his wife Barbara, and daughters Katie and Hannah have provided while he has been away serving his country. Now, therefore I, John W. Lewis, Mayor of the Town of Gilbert, Arizona, do hereby declare October 22nd, 2013, as Operation Welcome Home, Master Sergeant Zabel Day. And here's a round of applause to approve it. And Don't go away, I'm not done with you. <laughs> At this time, I would like to ask Buchanan Davis to come forward on behalf of U.S. Senator Jeff Flake. Chelsea Lett and I are very uh, honored to be here, and uh, uh, the Senator is very supportive of this, uh, this operation, Welcome Home, and uh, uh, grateful for uh, the opportunity to be here and, and recognize your service, and he's very grateful for what you have done. He, he writes, uh, Dear David, I join with the community of Gilbert in thanking you for your dedicated service in preserving our freedoms. Your sacrifice and that of your family is appreciated. It is an honor to be among the many in recognizing you and your most worthy accomplishments. Again, thank you and best wishes for the future. Uh, signed, Jeff Flake, uh, United States Senator. Picture, why don't you move over and get away from them? All right. Now I'd like to invite Lee Huff up on behalf of Congressman Matt Salmon. This also comes from Congressman Salmon. He regrets not being able to be here tonight. Dear Master Sergeant Zabel, after a distinguished record of service to our country, it is with recognition of your bravery, dedication, and sacrifice that I welcome your return to our community. I want you to know that I'm deeply impressed with your service record and the numerous honors and medals that you have been awarded. I also thank your family for the tremendous sacrifices in supporting you while you served. I present you with our nation's flag, which was flown over the nation's capital in your honor. I pray God's blessings to be upon you in all your future endeavors. Signed, Congressman Matt Salmon. Well, 
over here. We have Sean Johnson here to make a presentation on behalf of Congressman Paul Gosar. Uh, on behalf of Congressman Gosar, um, it's an honor to be here tonight. Uh, he, again, apologized that he cannot be here, but uh, um, we fully appreciate everything that you've done, the, the sacrifice you've made. As a veteran myself, I definitely appreciate um, and understand the sacrifices of yourself and your family members. Um, so we have a certificate of patriotism here for you uh, from the congressman. It says awarded to Master Sergeant uh, David LaBelle for unwavering support and dedication to this country and Operation Welcome Home. So thank you very much. Thank you. And now I'd like to ask State Representative Warren Peterson to come up and read a proclamation from our legislative districts 12 and 17 legislature, legislators, President of the Senate Andy Biggs and Speaker of the House Andy Tobin. Warren. Thank you. Master Sergeant Zabel, it's an honor and a privilege to be here with you tonight. On behalf of the Arizona House of Representatives, I have a certificate that I'd like to present to you as well as a copy of, of the document that you so valiantly protected. Thank you for your incredible service. Um, I always look forward to these events, getting to know Gilbert citizens better, and look forward to hearing more about you tonight. So may I share this with you. This is the Arizona ha House of Representatives House recognition of How Master Sergeant David Zabel. Whereas the state of Arizona wishes to acknowledge and honor through Operation Welcome Home those Arizona residents who have served a tour of duty overseas in the course of their military commitment to the United States of America. And whereas Master Sergeant Zabel, a resident of the town of Gilbert, having served for more than four years in the United States Air Force and 24 years in the Arizona National Guard, and whereas Master Sergeant Zabel, having completed basic training at Lackland Air Force Base, Texas, and having completed advanced training in Lowry Air Force Base, Colorado, and whereas Master Sergeant Zabel has served his country honorably through his throughout his service and deployment at various locations, including Camp Air Fun, Kuwait, and whereas Master Sergeant Zabel has received numerous, numerous medals and awards, including Meritorious Service Medal, Meritorious uh, Service Medal, Second Air Force Commendation Medal, Army Commendation Medal, or Air Force Achievement Medal, and whereas in recognition of his service and the support of his family, especially his wife, Barbara, and daughters, Caitlin and Hannah, have provided while he has been away serving his country. Whereas the town of Gilbert is proud to extend a warm welcome to Master Sergeant Zabel, honoring him and his family for their commitment and service to the United States military, this great state of Arizona, and the United States of America. Therefore, the members of the Arizona House of Representatives hereby recognize Master Sergeant David Zabel for his outstanding service in the United States Army and extend best wishes for his success and happiness in the future. At this time, Master Sergeant, would you like to say a few words? Well, I just want to say it's proud to be uh, an American, of course, and I just want to say that it's been an honor to serve the country, our state, and our community. And I just want to thank my wife and daughters because they've put up with a, a lot of time, me being away. They, I waited till I was till they were a little bit older before I started volunteering to deploy. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, 
I think 22 years that Barb and I have been married and so she's had to put up with a lot of missing family and me always going, okay, y'all, you want to go to Djibouti? <laughs> you want to go here? Yeah, <laughs> you know, and so, but it is an honor to, like I say, it's an honor to serve and I'm proud of the town of Gilbert that, and I, I thank you all for everything you guys do and the riders, thank you. You're very, I, I know I work out at the base at Sky Harbor and I know what you guys do, you were saying, at least I came home and we're not bringing a human remains home. We're, we're, you know, it's an honor. So thank you, everybody, thank you. Councilmember Daniels, I hit escape. It didn't quite do what you promised it would do. <laughs> we have a frozen computer. <laughs> At this time, I've got a few closing remarks and, and uh, then we'll be done. I want you to refer to the reverse side of your programs at some point so that you can see the groups and individuals and the businesses that have contributed their time, talents and means to this event. Without them, we could not do this. But I especially want to thank Jet Limousines in Phoenix. They provide the transportation for the family uh, this evening for the Motorcade 2 Town Hall and to and from La Rista's Mexican Kitchen, where they will be having dinner this evening. Busing Corporation, a local construction company, has given Phoenix Suns Lexus Club tickets. That's what's in that envelope that I entrusted to you. All right. Um, Frankie D's Salon. Certainly the American Legion Post 39 and the Arizona Patriot Guard Riders. Let's give them another hand. And I just love seeing the fact that the Boy Scouts are standing in, in between our flags and, and the Patriot Guard Riders. Job well done. And I'd like to really thank... <laughs> Next time we'll have Girl Scouts. All right, already working on it. And I'd like to thank the Town of Gilbert staff for everything they do. You see one or two of them taking photos this evening but most of what they do supports us, is behind the scenes. Thank you very much. I'd also like to take this opportunity to thank the Small Business Alliance and the entire Operation Welcome Home Committee for all they have contributed to make this evening possible. Our committee has grown tremendously in just the past few months as people have signed on to, to help with this. Now here's the unpaid uh, commercial announcement. Any of our Gilbert businesses who would like to be involved in Operation Welcome Home, there's a form on the back table. It, you can contact us either at the Small Business Alliance or through our website or face, Facebook. Um, we need your help. We need your services. Um, very gratifying. And we use all kinds of services. We've had, had uh, garages donate oil changes for the families that are left behind, accounting services. So no gift won't, will go unused. We, we will find a use, whether it's through the, to the families or the, the service men and women. Our next Operation Welcome Home ceremony is scheduled for December 5th, where we expect to honor our first returning service woman. She was supposed to be here this evening, but she's still uh, serving her country in San Diego as we speak. And if you have a loved one or a friend who is a Gilbert resident and, and is returning from an overseas deployment, 
please pick up a form on the table. Again, you can go to our website, call the Small Business Alliance, because without your nominations, we have no one to honor. And so please, 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 if you know someone, put the form in. We're trying to build a tradition. We know that there is a reluctance on the part of all of our military to see themselves as being singled out. But that's what we want to do because we want the youth, the Boy Scouts and the Girl Scouts and, and all of the residents to Gilbert to see how we treat our veterans and our military personnel. And we can only do it if we have folks that are willing to stand up and be honored. Just a couple of more things. We have two Veterans Day events coming up. November 7th here on the north side of Town Hall at 1130 will be the Gilbert Community Veterans Day ceremony. We'll have military vehicles out there. Uh, one of the high school bands and one of the high school choruses will be here to, to perform and other displays plus a number of organizations that support our veterans. And there are six of our local restaurants that have stepped up and will be providing free lunch. So you can go from Joe's Barbecue to Dragon Walk, uh, Nando's, I'm missing three, but, but uh, if nothing else, the lunch is good. And then the next day, November 8th on Friday, at 9 a.m., Higley Unified School District at Higley High will host its sixth community uh, Veterans Day celebration. Um, another great event. Just like to make one quick update on one of our other honorees. Due to his ongoing recovery from war injuries, when he was here and honored a few months ago, he required the help of two Army Rangers on either side to walk out of this ceremony. Corey Remsburg is now living here in Gilbert and can walk short distances with the use of his cane. He is a continuing remarkable story and he is with us this evening as well. When we had him here to honor him, his goal at that time, as much as he loves his parents, was to get out from under them and not have to depend on them, and he's well on his way. But apparently they're still watching. <laughs> All right, would you now please rise for the retiring of the colors, and please remain standing as the family is es escorted out by the Arizona Patriot Guard to the 9-11 Memorial, where you will have a chance to express your personal gratitude, take photos, and, and just chat with him.
Thank you all for coming. Have a great evening.